All right, welcome back. So let's go talk about uh, supplying with your castle. So this is our tester account too, which is on bot. And this is just the uh, account on BlueStack just as a test account. So with this video, what we're going to attempt to do is transfer resource from here to there, okay, uh, through bot. So this becomes really useful when you have a bank central bank where all of your gatherers let's say all of these castles were bots and in same guild i can potentially have a uh like a bank in the middle and just send everything it gathers to that middle uh castle and hence collecting bunch of rss resource for your main castle to build with uh, and it becomes really useful in new kingdoms so let's look and see within our software. We're going to open this up. And if we open it up, <clears throat> under setting, if we go to resources, it's going to tell you how much, right now, how much it has out and in bags. So really not much since it's brand new, right? And on the bottom, you'll see if they're out and gathering. And it's probably not gathering because I don't have uh, auto gathering set, but it will show you what's happening down here. And on the middle, you see the supply tab, you see the queue, relocate, migration cost. Uh, migration cost is really uh, no big deal. You just, uh, let's say kingdom, starting kingdom one, ending kingdom 20. Okay, uh, target might, 13,000. And it'll basically give you how many scrolls you're gonna need for whatever kingdoms. So that way you don't have to really search for much, right? That's how you find out on the migration cost. Uh, now let's go to relocate. You can use a relocator to relocate within the kingdom by typing in coordinates here. You can click on recall troops, so it'll recall before it relocates. Uh, sometimes this particular one, I notice it does get a little finicky, so you may have to try it a few times. It may, uh, you may even have to force recall your troops or your army, and then once it reaches zero, you may click on relocate. You see this option where you can type in with relocator, but if you go to random, that option does not become available because it's going to be random, right? And if you have migration scroll, you can go to a different kingdom. And it'll tell you if you have a um, migration scroll or not. And then novice relocator, at the beginning, you're gonna get one. You use that to move wherever you want to. Well, migration scroll, uh, relocator, random score, random relocator is where it's. And if you want to find out if you got what do you have, you always go to your inventory on top and it will tell you what you have. Right now, I do have two relocators, one heart, Braveheart and everything. If I go to resources, that's what I got. Speed ups. I have the combat chest, equipment, nothing, not, a little bit of material. But that's how you find out on that. So going back to the setting, um, Q is going to tell you what players is getting, you know, it's basically like what's the next task that's coming up when I'm supplying, right? So if I got like 10 people needing supplies or resources, it's just going to queue up everybody and whoever gets in first is the ones that's going to go. So let's say this one here, supply, we're going to, who are we going to send it to? We're going to send it to, I'm going to refresh the list. Um, well, there goes our hunting party. So let me see. Okay, since this thing's close enough, now it's actually um, hunting by itself because I had it to uh, go after level ones. So until it runs out of energy, this is what's gonna happen. I just wanted to show this. It's on a different video as far as setting the um, hunting, but it wasn't hunting at that time because I didn't have any monsters around. But this one, it does show that it's going to hunt and you notice the turnaround time as soon as it reaches home it'll just go right back out so it's pretty efficient so it, it becomes really useful during like monster hunt parties and things like that but anyway uh that's the hunting part 
um, going back to our resources. So let me uh, say I want to first reset the grid to zero out everything. Do I want to use the bag? Then it basically, whatever I'm short on, it'll pull out of the bags as well. And then um, I could just cancel it all. But let's just go ahead and send one food. Ah, we'll just 10, 10 food. And then tax, hefty, right? 50% at this level. So it's going to cost me a total of 15 food to send 10 food. Um, who, who am I going to send it to? I'm going to go ahead and send it to test account. Uh, there it is, tester account. And then if I go send resource, it's going to tell you one cart is needed. And we can see it taken off, sending it to tester account. And that's how you set up your supplies. So instead of having to go back and forth, keep sending, sending, you can actually set whatever, how much ever you want to send, let's say uh, 10 million, then it'll actually tell you, okay, the tax is going to be 4.08 million. It's going to cost you 14.08 million to do that, All right? So anybody, I mean, during war rallies, hey, I need 60 million of this and that, you set that. And then you just click reset the grid, pick another person, just keep on building up your queue, and you um, pretty much your bank will take care of it all, right? So that's how you send your resources. Um, now, also, let's talk about something about this. Uh, we have 15k, right? Let's just say we want to keep 10k. Um, so if you go under settings and supply, this is how you send. I picked tester account I want to keep uh, auto configure it brings it down to that but let's just say 20k right food but if I choose all of it anytime I set if I get to this amount it'll bring it down all the way to what my reserve is and just send everything else to that particular account that I pick so tester account here I'm gonna go ahead and save and see if it sends any food so it should only gone once but it should trigger the test account to send another right so if we let me see if that's you're going to do it 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 does take some time for it to run through it's uh, right here checks so once it gets to that point it'll go ahead and start triggering but when you set it it should test account here two accounts should send it to tester account one as long as we're not below that resource, uh, what did we set the setting at? Twenty thousand, right? Oh, it's got to reach certain amount though. Um, oh, not three hundred eighteen thousand. <laughs> That's why. So let's go twenty eight thousand. We go save. So now it should trigger. Because I think we actually have more than twenty. Yeah, thirty five thousand. So this should make it send like 7,000 something to bring it down to uh, 28,000. See here, it got stuck at supply resources. Now it's marching. If we look at the video, you see it marching towards that account. And if we look at the resources, let's see how much it's sending. It brought it down to exactly 20,000. Now for, that was test purposes. I'm not gonna send any because that account needs to build itself, so. It's just going to send one batch and quit. But if you have it set like that where, hey, I just want to keep 2 million of every resource and rest of them go towards the bank central unit, then you'll that's where you see a whole bunch of brownies just sending a whole bunch of things to one castle. That's what's happening, right? <clears throat> so those are resource sellers. That's what they're doing. They're basically getting like four or five castles that's already collected a bunch of resources from other castles and one person or one buyer will jump in the middle and they'll set all of that for each castle and they're just sending them all the RSS. So I hope that helps as far as the supply and resource and all of that go and that's the video on that and I'll see you guys on the next one.